And in a bizarre turn of events, music management tycoon Edgar Harding has been murdered earlier today. He's offering you a three album deal with an advance of £750,000. The deal we signed with him was bullshit. He had us in a corner and he could screw us any time he liked. My character Frankie is very feisty, very strong and very opinionated. Uh, she's got to be because she's living with three other boys. Um, she's probably the glue that holds them all together. She's definitely the sensible one. I was just absolutely captivated with reading the script because I genuinely wanted to know what happened and um, it intrigued me because there were just so many twists and turns and it was interesting to read and see what happened because I was thinking of um, endings of my own and I wanted to know actually what happened. But the mother I lost just a catalyst to cast been among you to fool. But it was it was definitely something that I thought I could relate to because I'm quite feisty and quite um, opinionated as well as Frankie, so she was kind of an easy role for me to take on. When I read the script for Edgar, um, Frankie really stood out to me because I really related to her. Apart from the stripping, she was very like me. <laughs> um, I really thought that I could get my teeth into doing it in a really natural way because she really reminded me of a younger version of myself and how I would be, I suppose, if I was in the situation um, like the guys were in the band. And being a songwriter and a singer, you know, it was really easy for me to relate to Frankie on an artistical side. Um, you know, it really excited me about being able to play her in the way that I thought was best. Sorry, you know, this is Frankie. She's with got it. an amazing voice. <laughs> Thanks, so have you. Your new single's really... Great. Yeah. Listen, uh, why don't you come and sing with me? Yeah, well, I'll get Edgar to start singing No, now. no, I'm singing now. Come and sing with me now. Well, I, I don't Come think on, I'm you'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, come I actually on. think he's best. Come and sing with me. Oh, come on. <laughs> I won't bite. I, I don't... promise. Oh, shit. I promise. Sorry. Yep. Okay, oh, I enjoyed play. working with them all. That sounds really cliche, doesn't it? But um, I love Mikey. We clicked straight away. He was um, my main man on the uh, in the cast. We just hung out quite a lot. Um, me and Richard... We just had banter the entire time. Um, it was really quite weird because Frankie and Jack have a real sexual chemistry together. And um, I wouldn't say me and Richard had some sexual chemistry, but we did have some kind of um, comical chemistry backstage, I think. So we, uh, we used to wind each other up. Daniel, um, he was my sweetheart as well, so... Uh, I, I got pretty lucky with my boys. I feel quite protective of them. A bit like Frankie. <laughs> I've been silent all these years. Travel miles to get me here. And the notion of love is just cool. The musical side of Edgar and performing on stage as Frankie was, um, I wouldn't say really easy for me, but it was the most natural for me to do because of my singing background and my writing background. So that, that was really comfortable for me. And one of the most enjoyable bits of the film for me because I just felt at home on stage. And that was, that was really good. I've been silent all these years Framing pictures of my fears from the flesh of the man 
and sickly sweat under hand and I've been silent all these years. Frankie's definitely more complex as a character than you know she shows on the surface because she's got a background you know that's um, quite dark but she's really intelligent so she takes the role as the role of a mother on to the boys but underneath, really, I think she's quite insecure and she's quite um, unsure of herself or who she wants to be or what she thinks she can be. So, you know, I have to try and get some kind of vulnerability into the character as well as, as well as being really strong and feisty. Look at the funny you owed me and I saw it and it pushed and I just want you to see what your mum looks like. No, 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 no. no. I'm sorry. I can't believe Working with Stephen was awesome. Nobody would have known he was um, a first time director. He really gave us the freedom to do what we wanted with the character, and he really, you know, he, he, he also gave us the freedom to come off the script quite a lot because he wanted quite a natural um, reaction, and, you know, he wanted some, um, some of our input into um, the characters. I can love someone. It gives away like a whore for 20 quid a dance. Yes! <laughs> but um, it was good because he knew what he wanted and he really shared his vision with us. He had a really strong vision uh, for a number of years, how he wanted the characters to be, look, how to sound, how to, you know, react and in interact with each other but um it also gave us like the freedom to do with them what we thought so it was quite a good mix and um, we definitely didn't know it was his first time or we couldn't tell it was his first time directing and um i personally found it a pleasure working with him Yeah, Frankie got quite a lot of attention from the boys, which is, you know, was awesome for me. <laughs> but, um, yep, Stuart Gouds, um, James Madison, Jack, we're all fighting over her. Um, Robert Benny, I did the, um, the duet with, uh, with him. He was awesome. He was really nervous about playing the guitar, actually. I don't know why, because he, he, um, he looked like he could play it. <laughs> People like us don't stand a chance Unless we wash away these lies Ben McGuire played Stuart Gavs. Uh, he decided to make him Irish, which was interesting, because some of us couldn't understand what he was saying. Hey! Great gig tonight, guys. Yeah, cheers. I'm a really big fan of yours. Oh, well, I'm a big fan of yours now. So, I heard Jerry Slade is here. Yeah, he came to check us out. Oh, well, you'll be a fool not to sign you. And yeah, it was no it was good working with so. with Ben because he he's come from Career as Folk and um, he probably had the most acting experience out of most out of most of the cast. So uh, it was it was good watching him transform a character, you know, and, and putting his own stamp on it. As I say, he made him Irish. <laughs> Why did he make him Irish? I don't know. Are you having fun? Hi. Yeah. I feel like an imposter, though. Oh, your time will come. Well, I'm sure of it. I can't believe how many famous people are here. They're all so gorgeous. Well, I think you're the prettiest girl in here. My dream career would be both singing and acting, but I enjoy them both equally but differently. I mean, acting gives me a chance to, um, you know, show a different side of me, whereas singing is really personal because as a writer, singing my own songs is basically like reading a diary and, you know, sharing my experiences. Sharing someone else's 
experiences with the viewer, listener. And, um, you know, it's different for me, but I enjoy them both the same. Yes, we have.